there, how's it going? You know what, I wanna show you this guitar right here. Let me, oops, turn this down a second. And that is, of course, the George Benson GB10. So this particular one I bought oh, a while back. Um, it was the band, some guys that I work with, we were talking about maybe doing a George Benson tribute. And I saw this and I thought, I gotta have that. And so I thought I, but you know, I'm gonna part with it now. I just never play it. And you gotta play these things. Although I do travel with this because it fits in the airplane compartment really nice. Now, the deal with this guitar is this. It's a small body, and, you know, I, I think it looks like about two and a half inches there. A small 14-inch body, solid top. It's got the three-piece neck, if you can see that. It's stable, very stable guitar. And I can see where George is coming from on this guitar because you want a guitar that's not gonna feed back when you're on stage, that's number one. Number two, it's very even sound. When you take a guitar like, uh, uh, well, for instance, the standard DL5, you take that on a stage with monitor system, good luck. You know, it's number one, it's feeding back all over the place. And number two, the low notes get lost. In this, it's very balanced, you know? It's not... Um... The low notes are, are, are very distinct. They're not fuzzy. So it, it's got that penetration of the low notes to cut through a bend. And that's the beauty, I think, of this guitar. It definitely has its own voice, without a doubt. It's got its own voice, you know? So this guitar sounds like a GB10. Now this particular one, it's pretty interesting. It's signed by George Benson on the sticker. Now I don't know what year this is, but um, I'm, I'm guessing it's uh, late 70s, or early 80s. Um, it's uh, made in Japan. And it plays great. So there's the, the inlays. As you can see, the inlays are really pretty. It's got these two floating pickups. So these are floating. They're going to be height adjusted right here with this. Now, the only problem with this guitar is it's missing this binding strip that goes right here. It fell off, I guess. It also has these tensioners on, on the tailpiece so that you can get more down pressure onto the bridge. Um, it's a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale length, which is easy playing. And it's got that little, I don't know how to explain it. It's got a kind of a, a tinkly sound going on it with it. Ebony bridge, so it's got that the wooden bridge. So that always adds to the harmonics generated uh, within the tones. So I played with this out a few times. Always get nice compliments about it. But I don't know if I need it anymore. But anyway, these guitars are, are pretty sweet and they're fun to play. And like I said, they're great traveling guitar. So, if you want to do the George Benson thing,
this might be a good choice for you. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna turn this out and let somebody else enjoy it. Um, but uh, there is a GB10. I haven't played one made in China, but this thing is as stable as can be. Boy, it's solid and uh, it's got that George sound. And a friend of mine, uh, Norman Brown, oh, that I knew from GIT, he played one of these. He could really make that thing sound really sweet. So anyway, I will talk at you later. Bye for now. <laughs> she knew that on purpose. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat>